Hi YouTube, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today I'm really pleased to bring you my full review, Doro 8030. Thanks to Doro for sending this great device out to me. So first of all, I just want to show you around your device and where the buttons are. So if we look here at the left hand side, you can see clearly identified is your volume controls. So you've got tactile buttons on them and also a visual symbol. So you've got volume up, volume down, and also you've got your power switch there which acts as a sleep wake button as well. Looking at the top of our device, you're gonna find a headphone symbol. This is where you're gonna plug in your headphones. This is using a 3.5 jack and the headphones coming in the box will work in here great to listen to your music and listen to videos. On the right hand side here, we'll see a connection port for our power to charge and sync our device. Also to sit it in its dock. So again, it's clearly identified by a raised bump and also a nice symbol. Moving down, we will find our camera button there. Again, that has got tactile feel to it, a nice clear symbol. Also on this bottom edge here, you'll see a tiny little notch where you can put your fingernail in to get into your battery and SIM card. Moving to the back of our device, we find our camera. Underneath our camera, we do have a microphone. Underneath the microphone you also find that assistance button so when pressed when programmed as well this will identify and alert people you have programmed in that there might be something potentially wrong and that's a great feature that we see on the Doro here coming down our speaker grill and you've got a bit of branding as well so looking at the front of our device you've got your camera here branding you've got our display and also you've got your main buttons so you've got a menu button home button back button which I'll talk about shortly and also you've got a little microphone in here as well pressing our home button will wake up the display to slide to unlock to get into our device so you simply swipe up if you do want some more security you can actually change this to a pin pattern or password. So now we're on our home screen. This is called our home screen. And let me talk through these three buttons here and then I'll talk through the main three features that we have on our device. You have a menu button. When pressed, it will show you all open applications. You can dismiss these one by one by swiping away or hit clear all. This will clear all. You have your home button, which will always take you home when pressed. We'll bring up this application drawer we can jump into things so we can search for something, we can snap a photograph, we can also discover, listen, and then set a setting. Pressing home again will take us back home. And we have a back button, which will always take us back out of something that we was previously in. Touching and holding the home button will launch Google. And this is where you can ask Google anything you so wish. Again, going back home takes us back home. On our home screen here, we can have different folders. So we have a folder here for all the Google applications. Again, pressing home. Then you have a, my applications. Swiping to the left will show your applications. And you've got two tabs tabs here and you can see we downloaded Super Mario Run as well. Tapping that home button, remember, will always take you back home. So this device and Doro make it easy for people to use a smartphone. Maybe it's their first, maybe it's someone in your family that's slightly older generation or someone like myself that has a disability and maybe can't use these devices as well as others. First of all, Doro make it very easy with these three key things so you either want to call someone you want to view something or you want to send something to so tap in on call it'll ask you do you want to call a number a contact or a recent contact then you can choose to view something so you can view my messages my emails my call history my pictures or videos then you have a third option to send something so you can send a message send an email send a picture or video or send a contact card. So on your home screen, we've got the time, we've got the date as well. And also at the top here, we've got about our battery and other information. If you slide down, so this is called your notification area. So we have a notification here, we can dismiss this or tap on it to either look at it or dismiss it once again. At the top, you've got your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, and also mobile data that you can toggle on and off. If you need any more settings, you'll tap this gear icon. Also at the top, you will see that we have a Google search bar where you can tap the microphone and you can ask it different information. So this phone is nicely, easily set up, ease with great use. And I think it offers so many great features please go and check out our accessibility feature, 
where we tested out all the different settings to make this phone even more accessible for all to use. And well done to Doro for doing this. It does look stunning and works perfectly well. So as I said beforehand, this little notch here down at the bottom corner, if you actually pull this off, you'll hear it all unclip. This is where you're gonna find your battery and your micro SD and SIM card slots where to insert them here. So if you do have any issues, like I said beforehand, go and check out our basics video where I showed you how to insert your SIM card and your SD card. Now I'd like to move on to specs of this great Doro 8030. First of all, we're gonna start with the screen. It's a 4.5 inch display here, so it looks really good and it is touchscreen, as you know. Its resolution is 480 by 854, and that gives us a pixel per inch of 218. It weighs 142 grams, so it's nice and light. It's not too heavy, it's not a bulky thing to carry around, either in your pocket or your bag. Also, it comes in at 10.1 millimeters thick here, which is not too bad. As you can see here, the color is black. On the back, it is a plastic material, but with a soft touch as well. So it's nice and grippy and you will not drop it. So this device uses the latest in cool technology, which is LTE. That means it will use 4G, 3G or 2G, depending on your network and depending on the area where you are. It also has Bluetooth built in to work with headphones, to work with Bluetooth speakers as well. And one key thing about this device that is actually hearing aid compatible as well. So you can use a hearing aid with this smartphone bit more about its processor and speeds it's running a quad core processor it has one gigabyte of ram which is plenty enough to use for your basic applications and for every day to day it has eight gigabytes of storage but can take a micro sd card up to 32 gigabytes so you can store more photos and more videos at the moment this device is slightly running behind on android 5.1 but this is due to it coming out in 2016. With their new models, they will be pushing the latest Android software, either 6.0 or 7.0. One thing did surprise me with this great device when using was its battery life. Its battery has lasted forever and forever, which is fantastic. And that is thanks to that 2000 millionth hour battery in the back there. But one key thing is, say it did run out, you can always buy a replacement, which is great. Some devices do not let you get to the battery, but with 2000 minute hour battery, you can use this day all day and every day. If you're not a heavy user of your smartphone, it can last up to 25 days on standby, which is a fantastic amount of time. Moving on to the camera and video quality of this device. First of all, the front facing camera up here is not too high, it's a VGA camera. It's there, it's nice to take photos in the right light. The camera on the back, on the other hand, is a five megapixel camera and will take photos very well in good light. Make sure you don't do it in the dark as we don't have any flash on this camera here. Video quality is in HD. The actual resolution is 1080 by 720, and this will store to the device or store to your micro SD. So it all depends which one you use. Price for this device here in the UK, it will cost 180 pounds and is available from multiple different retailers such as Carphone Warehouse, Argos, Amazon, Tesco's, John Lewis, and many more. A link for this device will be in our description as well, so you can go and check that out. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to help. My personal thoughts and my final thoughts on this device was great. For myself, being visually impaired, a couple of key things jumped out to me. First of all, I like to have a tactile feel to the buttons, and each button has a different tactile feel. The device is simple but easy to use, but yet offers such great features and a great overall experience and move into a smartphone device if it is your first smartphone. You can download apps, you can download movies, games, TV shows, and you can enjoy your phone and get really immersed with this extra accessibility features as well that we see offers ease of use to everyone and a massive well done to Doro. Thank you to them for sending out this great device. Like I said previously, if you do have any comments, please leave them down below. Remember to give a thumbs up to the video as it does help. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our latest news, reviews, and unboxings. From me, Ricky, I will see you very soon. Bye for now.